See those kids over there? Every single one of them? There's six of them. Right there. Is that a GoPro, brother? Yes, sir. Yeah. But every single one of them, um, like I used to be out of the clinics all the time, right? Now I stand out in front of churches and stuff and town squares and try to wake people up to get people to, to make it illegal, right? And, uh, but people would say, hey, well, what about the born kids in foster care? What about them? Nobody cares about them. And I'm like, what do you mean nobody cares about them, right? And so I looked, I looked, right? And Texas has 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted right now, waiting to be adopted. And the, you know what? Those people are right. Christians don't care. They don't actually don't care, you know? The 13,000 are waiting to be adopted and nobody wants them. And it broke my wife and my heart, you know? And so we adopted them, you know? And they're, what's that? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you're, you're the yeah, they're my my kids on paper. They're 100 percent. You know, like we adopted them. They're, they're not a foster parent. They actually adopted them. So, thanks, man. All of their parents had a reason to do this, right? But these kids, like, any of you want to be dead? No. How about the people that say things like, "Well, it's better." It's better uh, for you to be aborted than it is to like, um, than to go into foster care. No, maybe, no. No? <laughs> you, you think it would have been better for your mom to kill you than for you to go into foster care when you went into foster care? No. No? So how do you do this job, man? Did you know that those babies in the mom's tummy, they don't get their first breaths? Because they're aborted. Like, I know you believe in God. Like, I know it. Like, I know everybody does. Like, even people that say, I don't believe in God. You know, I, I know you do. You know? Because God, God even says in His Word that everybody believes. Right? Everybody believes. You know? It's just that we're mad at God. We don't want to do what He says. That's the only difference. You know, right? But God wants to, like these kids, He wants to help, man. He wants to like raise you up. He wants to help you in every, in every aspect of your life, right? In relationships, in your relationship with Him. How do we, how do we live our lives, man, without God's help? Like it's miserable. And when we're obedient to God and do what He says, Literally, what happens is, is we have peace and joy. Even if something bad's happening, we have peace and joy. This is even beyond understanding. Does that make sense? Are you... Can you imagine a guy like me, Homer Simpson, adopting these kids? I'm a selfish bastard <laughs> like I am man but being obedient to God has changed me it's changed me man God actually helps me he holds me at night when I sleep and I sleep well I have a wife that actually loves me like she studies me and watches me and knows what I like and cares for me that's not because look I'm so good looking it's because God is blessing me and helping me. That's what, that's what we all need, man. Or else we're miserable. Life just sucks. Am I wrong? Like if you asked your conscience, is this guy full of crap? Or is what I'm saying true? Like, and I don't hate you, man. Look, we were all lost. We were all blind. You know that song, Amazing Grace? You know, you ever heard it? You know, I'll sing it, but I suck, you know. You know, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. 
I once was lost, but now I am found. I was blind, but now I see. When we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we'll have no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. That's what God can do. He can take somebody who can't see who like ignores the will of God, ignores God's help. And then he allows us to see and he changes us, man. And then God uses us. And there's a joy in that. You know what these kids do? They destroy everything I own. <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> everything, man. They destroy the, my walls of my house. They destroy my TVs. They destroy my cars. They destroy everything. And you know what? It is a blessing. It is a blessing, man. That's crazy, right? How can that be? God helps me, man. When I was at my wit's end, when I first got all these kids, I asked God for help. Like, you're supposed to help me, God, right? And what happened? He, God said, okay, I'll help you, but I'll lower your expectations. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, that's not the kind of help I want. I want you to fix the kids. But God wants to do that for you, man. 